Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving leak code problem 14, longest common prefix. Write a function to find the longest common prefix amongst an array of strings. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. Let's look at some basic examples. And the first one we'll do is this one. And we have dog, race car, and car. Obviously these start with different characters, D, R, and C. So there is no common prefix among these strings. So in this case, we just return the empty string. In this example where we have flower, flow, and flight, we can see that they all start with F. They all have a second character L. These two have an O and an O, but this one has an I. Therefore, the longest common prefix will just be the F and the L. <coughs> so solving this problem is relatively straightforward. As you've seen, you basically just almost stack the um, strings on top of each other and then just check index by index whether there's a match in all of them. If there is, you can move to the next index. If not, you just return up to whatever index um, that you found in terms of common prefix, and there you go. Um, as soon as you have a deviation, that means that everything up until that index was the common prefix. So relatively straightforward. We just kind of need to go through the strings uh, from left to right, check the indexes, compare the values at each uh, index, and we're good to go. So. What do we want to do here? Let's actually uh, now code this up. So the first thing that we need to do is actually check whether or not we were given some sort of strings to compare or whether or not um, you know this thing is empty. So basically, we just want to check if the length of strings equals to zero, then there's nothing to compare here. So we just return an empty string. Now what we need to do is we need to actually go through all of the prefixes and basically find the point where either we go through all the prefixes and actually all the words are the same, or we find that deviation. So let's now go through all of the indexes and we'll just start with the first string. And you know, you could have the case that some strings aren't the same length, in which case, as soon as we find a point where we're actually out of bounds uh, of the index, then we know that we can't compare any further. So let's just use the first one as our string. So we're gonna say for i in range of length We'll just say the first string here. And we're going to say the current character equals to strings of zero of i. So this is the ith index of our kind of string that we're using here to compare. And it's gonna be the, the first one in strings. Um, now what we wanna do is we want to basically compare this index for all of the other strings. So we're basically going to say for j uh, in range of one. And the reason we do one is because we're already looking at the first string. So now we need to just compare all the other strings. So from range one till the length of strings, we want to say that um, we want to check whether or not actually this J is out of bounds uh, for the current string that we're looking at, or whether or not its um, character at the Jth index will actually match this current character. So we're going to say if I is actually equal to uh, the length of strings of j. So basically, if our current index is actually um, the end of our strings here, um, then we cannot go further, right? Or if these characters actually um, don't match, so for the jth string at the ith index, if, it, if that value doesn't equal to the current character that we're looking at, then we know that we have a mismatch, so we can't go any further either. So at this point, we can simply return um, we're going to use, remember, our kind of base string is just the, the string, the whatever's at the zeroth index, uh, whatever that string is. Uh, and we're going to return everything from the start of the string up until the ith index. Because remember, the ith index, because we have that mismatch, we just want everything up until it. And that is kind of our uh, prefix. And then essentially, uh, if all of the strings are actually the same, then in this case, we simply just need to return uh, any of the strings uh, in our list here because they're all the same. Uh, so we can just assume that the entire string is the common prefix. So we're just going to return strings of zero and we are good to go. So let's run this, make sure I didn't make any bugs and it looks fine. Let us submit this and we are good. So time and space complexity here, relatively straightforward. All we're doing is basically just comparing um, the values at each of the indexes for our strings and just checking them amongst the strings. So this is basically based on the length of the string um, because you know, the amount of comparisons we're gonna have to do is basically limited by the like maximum length of the string um, and how many strings there are. So 
this is going to be big O of s, uh, where s equals the length of, or s is number of strings in strings. So that's how many um, comparisons we need to do. For the time complexity, it's going to be big O of 1. Obviously, we don't have any extra space here. We're just doing everything kind of in place, uh, so we don't need any extra space here. So relatively straightforward problem, but it does come up a lot. And um, just in case it was confusing for some people, it can be a little bit of a weird one uh, in the beginning. Just decided to make the video. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel to help me grow. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.